Okay, let's take a look at the Infinity PBR Dungeon, Real Ivy and Wet Stuff, all working together to create an awesome scene. What you're seeing here is the results of about an hour and a half's work total, including making this video and, and narrating and so on. Some drips dropping on the floor there from Wet Stuff, and as I walk around the corner here, you'll see that there's a whole load of ivy growing in the tunnels and there's a special treat that you'll see during the course of this video. Let's take a look at Infinity PBR Dungeon first. So the music and the sound and everything all comes with the asset. This is an update to the Dungeon Scene Pack 1 which I've been using in my uh, recent game jam. I'm going to put this into my main game I think. Let's take a look around the dungeon. Nice sound, another door. There are no other monsters in here. I do have a whole load of the excellent Infinity PBR models, but I haven't put any in this, in this arched way roof there. This is an excellent upgrade from the first version. Now, I didn't like the fire in the first version. I don't like it in this one either. The smoke's been improved, or at least the smoke is nice. I don't like the actual flames. I replace those in my game. And um, we'll perhaps do a video on that one day. Let's have a look down here. Nice textures on the wall, lots of variety there. Dark down here. These pipes are kind of nice. I could break up the monotony a bit. Very dark and spooky. Goes down again. Let's walk down there. I love the way the torches and things cast these shadows. It just breaks it up nicely. Oh, a door. Some sewers, maybe. Nice columns there. Ceiling is different again here. So this all looks awesome, but you know what I want to try and do? I want to spice it up a bit. We've got water, we've got nutrients flowing through here. I'm going to spice these columns up a bit. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it with real ivy. Okay, so we've also imported real ivy into here. So let's open that window up and here is our control window. There's a number of ways of putting ivy into here. So the first thing that you can do, for example, is to paint some ivy on. Let's just pull back on the camera a little and let's say I've got some ivy has come in in the sewer and it's grown up here. And then I click start growth and look at that it starts to just grow around the mesh that you put it onto. So you just let that grow for a while and then click stop growth and then take a look at what you've got. It's a little bit bland around here so I'm going to place a seed just about there and then click start growth. And what it will do is start growing from the point that I said. Let's stop that now. And there we go. We have a nice ivy growing up our pillar. Let's do this one over here. So let's paint this one up here. Start a bit lower on this one, start the growth and off it goes. Now you can control the algorithm for how it grows um, by going into the window here and you have branch settings and so on. I'm not going to muck about with those just for now. I find the presets to be really pretty good and we can start growth. It comes with about six presets for different types of growth and you can also import your own graphics, your own ivy into this asset. So let's have a little bit more coming up. Whoops. A little bit more coming up through here. I don't like that one. I'm going to get rid of that one. The reason being I've pulled it across the, the gap there and I want it to actually grow up like that. There we go. All right, let's have that grow a bit. And then I think we'll put another seed down this side. So I'll just place a seed this time. So about there and click start growth. And this time it's going to just follow across here. You see, it's filling that filling over the floor a bit as well. So stop and we've got one more to do. Let's see, where is the door coming in? 
Where's the door? Oh, there it is. Okay. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to see it on this side here. So let's paint this one on. Let's just cut off that. So that one had already started going up that side. So I'm actually just going to place a seed here and just say keep growing at that point for me. Now you can also do runtime uh, growth if you want to. Um, and what that means is one, whilst you're here, this will grow in front of your eyes. It's going to place a seed. Actually, not place a seed. I think I'm going to paint up this wall here around this way and then up a little and then quick start growth. What I want is to be able to see a lot of growth. Oh, that was no good. Stop. Reset. And let's just do that again. Like that start growth there we go I want to have a lot visible when I come in you see um, so you can have it grow at runtime but you can also save this IV so I could save this as a prefab uh, which reduces the overhead input performance but I'm not going to worry too much about that in this instance let's have a look in there then open the door Go through there we go look at that much nicer than the first time around and we could easily put ivy over there or over here any of the inlets looks fantastic blowing in the wind we can of course control the wind and change that but absolutely fantastic but we can do more let's make this dungeon a little bit wet because it's a dungeon, right? And it's got a sewer. How do we do that? An asset called Wet Stuff. Okay, so I have Wet Stuff imported into this project already. So what I need to do in order to uh, use it is to go to my camera, which is here on the first person camera, uh, first person character, and the camera component is on there. So I'm gonna add Wet Stuff. So it says that I need to use the deferred rendering path and I can do that in two ways. I can do it up here on the camera itself and change it to deferred or I could go into the project settings and set it up to deferred but I'm just going to do it the easy way here. And Now we're good to go. So the next thing that I need to do is add a prefab into this um, scene. So if you search for wet decal it will bring up a prefab here, the wet decal puddle. Drag it into the scene here, and you can see the shadowy looking thing there. That's the wetness. So just drop it where you want, and just make sure it's on the ground. So I'm doing shift control and just moving that, and it's just snapping it to the ground. Okay, and then over here, you can see I have all of the settings, and I can make it wetter or drier. So it's really wet, really dry. And you can change these in real time at all. And what I'm looking for is reflections from this light here. You see how we've got some movement here. That looks great to me. And around the edges, I can change the phase phasing. So you see how it's changing on the outside around if you look around here. Oops. If you look around here, I can change the fade so it comes in or goes out and I can also change the sharpness on the edges there so I think we want something around about there and uh, there's all sorts of different layer modes now I want to follow the texture because this is a highly textured surface and so I'm actually going to go with triplanar here and you can see how it now is following the contours of the model a lot more which is great I probably want to drop down the wetness a little bit now though oh I don't know though yeah, maybe maybe bring it up and, and reduce the edge fade off a bit. There we go. All right. And you can change the different settings down the bottom here. And you can change individual channels to adjust the shape of the wetness and the intensity of the wetness. So you just play around with the settings, you know, like all these things. Just muck about. Find out what works for you go for the texture is the key thing now if I come from this angle that looks a little bit too rigid around the outside for me 
So I'm just going to uh, change the edge fade off a bit more and reduce the sharpness. There, I think that looks a bit better. Okay, so if we play that and have a look at what that looks like in the real world, in the real world, <laughs> uh, here we go. There's the wetness just there. So that looks pretty good to me. Let's do a whole load more and take a look around. So here we are in our dungeon. I've spent maybe, I don't know, 40 minutes or so just adding some more wetness and some more ivy in. Let's go through here and take a look at what we've got here. Now, look at the wetness on the ground there. Let's go a bit closer. Notice it's drips that are splashing and creating more. So it's not just puddles in wet stuff. You can do drips and all sorts of things. So there you can see the drips coming down. Let's keep going. Goes into our dark tunnel around the corner. And here we have a whole load of ivy growths. And I've used two different types of ivy here. I said it had six presets, where well, you're seeing two of them there. And we keep going around the corner here come down we've got some ivy growing above us there and come down around this corner to where the sewer is and look I have wet stuff on the outside what's going on here the doors a bit wet on the bottom there as well something is going on in here let's take a look oh look at this lots of wet stuff looks like the sewer overflows now and again and here is our ivy that miraculously grows with no sunlight, but what on earth is that? What's up? It's coming. Oh my gosh. What is it? Is it going to hit me? It's one of Infinity PBR. 